Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Pro Graphene Infused Flex Wax. Probably the world's longest name for a spray bottle. And comparing it to the other products in the Turtle Wax spray lineup that I happen to have and are probably the most likely to be compared to, especially these two, Seal and Shine and uh, the Hybrid Solutions ceramic spray coating. And then I threw in my little cheapy guy here, my uh, Carnuba cleaner wax, just to see how much should you spend on a turtle wax spray bottle if you're looking for durability uh, in a chemical resistance sense, uh, gloss, and stuff like that. So <clears throat> we're going to look at that today between these four bottles. I've got a couple mystery products thrown into the two tests as well. Uh, everything's going to be blind because it's really important when you're looking at the brand and they have four bottles with different price tags to, to take the take as much knowledge out as you can and just go into it with a clear conscience. Um, but we're going to look at how they do on the gloss and fill panels as well as hydrophobics and chemical resistance. Um, and the, the products I'm throwing in that are mystery are within the same scope, so nothing crazy, um, uh, uh, to sort of set a relative example or to see how maybe you could spend your money somewhere else and see what kind of results you get. So that's sort of the gist of it is to something that they would compete with and something as a reference point, um, you know, maybe, maybe not a spray wax instead, maybe a paste wax or something like that, you know? Um, because everyone likes spray waxes and spray sealants and spray coatings because they're easier. But maybe they're not always worth it. So that's what we're going to look at today. And uh, I've already filmed all the chemical resistance stuff, but I haven't filmed the gloss and fill. So that's going to be done as soon as I hit stop recording on the phone. Um, but we're going to look at those today and then we'll draw a conclusion at the end as to which is worth it, which isn't worth it. And... Uh, you know, are you more into hydrophobics and chemical resistance? Are you more into gloss and fill? Maybe there's one that's better for you in that regard. So anyway, without further ado. Okay, so I have six sections total for gloss and fill. Labeled one to three on this panel, and I have an identical panel uh, with the four to six. This has been polished with a machine and then intentionally swirled using a strong compound and... Um, little microfiber pad, a really shitty one I have that's rough and should not be used on paint, basically. Uh, use that to scuff it up. Then the products were applied over top and it's been given a week to cure so there's no gloss changing gonna happen now. It's, it's done, this is what it's gonna look like, no better. Um, then a little flashlight. We'll go zoom in there and have a gander at each section. There'll be some control lines here to see how swirled it was versus how it is now. And then at the end, we'll go through one through six and see who is who and who did best. So keep keep an eye on this and remember which ones you think look best and we'll, we'll reference back to this at the end. So lights off, lights on. Number one. So as you can see, it has done a decent amount of darkening versus control, not a ton, but it's not bad. Um, not a ton of swirl filling, but a little darkening. Moving along, number two. This one's done a bit more darkening than the other guy from what I can see. And a little bit more filling as well. So I'm gonna say this is doing better than the other guys so far ignore the finger smudges and stuff i do have to handle these panels throughout the week sometimes to move them but uh, overall pretty good and number three well that is that is very very good holy moly that's good whatever this is doing well that's a lot of fill and a lot of darkening it's as dark as this one but the filling amounts are much higher Wow, good job, three. Okay, let me grab the other panel. 
Okay, we are back with four through six. Same story, two control lines. Uh, I had a control section up here, but I ended up keeping this tape on, so it doesn't really matter. But the little tape lines will do enough. So, here we go. So section four. Definitely done some decent filling. It's definitely darker. It's got some filling, but not that much. This panel is a little more swirled than the other. I, apologies, it's hard to evenly polish poorly on these guys, but it's filled more, but there's still quite a lot remaining. So from, from the control down, I think it's in line with some of the others on the other panel. Maybe just this panel's got more, so it looks like it's got more. But moving on, number five. Going back and forth. Now uh, you tell me. It looks like this has also a lot of leftover swirlies. It's definitely darker though. It's definitely dark. Yeah, it's hard to say on this one. Looks like it's darkened, but it hasn't really filled much. And let's go to number six. Again, it's darkened it for sure, but it's not, it's not really filled much. So clearly the other panel, either, either it was swirled less or those guys filled way better, but I'm looking at all of these here. You tell me, I don't know. They don't look, they look darker, but swirl wise, there's not a huge reduction. Like three definitely looks rich and dark, but it still has lots of hazing and swirling in it. All of these do. So it's hard to tell. Number five, I think, barely did anything. I don't know which one it is. I hope it's not flex wax. That would have been embarrassing. Um, but yeah, that's, that's where I'm sitting here. So um, since I've already filmed the water parts, uh, we're going to cut to the hydrophobics now, but once that's done and we go through the chemical resistance, um, we will go to the conclusion and we'll find out which section is which in all of them, because it's blind for hydrophobics and for chemical resistance. So, without further ado.
So after all of that, um, what did we learn today? Well, on the gloss panels, uh, we're going to get into the order of it right now. Uh, contestant number one was Express Shine Carnivus. This is the $10 Wonderkin. So not really. Um, so it didn't have the greatest filling. It darkened it a bit, but it wasn't it wasn't anything special, which is interesting because this is their Carnuba guy, which is really supposed to, you know, usually is associated with looks improvement. Um, so yeah, number two was actually Seal and Shine. So again, it wasn't the two between the two of these. Upping this to this guy for extra gloss and fill is not really um, not really worthwhile. Let's put it that way. So. They didn't do a bad job, but you should definitely polish your car for looks improvement over spraying these on it. Number three, which was really good, was Nova Luster. And that was in there as a reference point for a very good uh, gloss improving, visual improvement type product, which is literally on the bottle. That is exactly what this was made to do. Improve looks and top of coating and, and be a standalone spray sealant. So. That's why it's there. It is a terrible value per milliliter, but it does a very good job of what it's supposed to do. Ah, moving along. Number four was our other mystery competitor, which is the $9 tub of paste wax from Fertile Wax. So this was thrown in to see what would happen if you bought the paste wax version of essentially what this is. Although there is a paste wax version of this, but it was not available to me. So I use this. Um, and number four on those panels was nothing special. It was decent. It was uh, maybe a, a little bit up on these guys, but I don't think so. I don't remember that panel being that great either. I mean, go look back if you tell me below if I'm wrong, but I don't remember the whole second panel being all that great. Um, yes, moving on. Number five was graphene, which <laughs> really not that good because I, I really didn't like that panel very much um i had a really hard time seeing what it did it just darkened it slightly but i didn't i didn't see anything in there that said whoa wow this this is better than everything else that was luster section so if you're buying this to drastically improve the appearance of your vehicle maybe don't and then of course lastly that means this guy was in uh the sixth position, again, all of these guys here did not have a giant leap forward in visual appearance, including a you know thick applying paste wax. So they clearly don't contain the types of things that are going to make a dramatic difference in your visual appearance. So something like shiny wax or luster or something like that will do. Um, also, there's other products out there that are not that expensive or specific that sort of fit right in this category and price bracket. Because remember, this is like, in Canada, this is like $40 a bottle when it's not on sale. So uh, there is other options that are spray on, wipe off, that do improve looks more and are in comparable sizes. So, yeah. Moving on, though, we're going to go to the Hydrofog panel. Contestant number one, which you will remember because you just watched it, um, did the best was this guy. It was this one, and that was a single coat, not a double coat, like they sort of mishmash about doing 24 hours later, which no one's going to do. Um, when it came to the chemicals, which of course this time was super clean degreaser, um, I stepped it up over my Meg's APC because I have been thinking about that and people have been commenting on it, and I was like, yes, Meg's is a little more interior focused and has stuff for cloths. It does work on the exterior, don't get me wrong, it does work, but there's better and more concentrated things out there. So, use Super Clean. Uh, it does rinse pretty free, I found. Uh, it doesn't really benefit from wipes. Like, I didn't do any, I just rinsed it really thoroughly. So, don't worry about that. I've, te I've tested that before. Um, but yeah, this guy, this guy outlasted everything else. Uh, and that was in position number one. Position number two and pretty sure you saw it in there, it was gone. It 
could barely handle the 10 to 1 spray bottle. So, um, yeah. Whoops. I mean, it's $9. It's, it's not going to last that anything. But it smells so similar to the old Seal and Shine. You'd think it's just cheaper Seal and Shine, but it's not. Uh, yeah. Number three was new version Seal and Shine. So, again, I think I would put this second, third. I know I hand gestured at the end of the video. I can't remember what I did. It's, it's behind this by a clear margin, but not too far behind. But, yeah. Um... Definitely, you know, what it is known for. Outlasting in the chemical testing world. It's it's really good at that. But this guy trumped it today in my test. And that was with a weak cure in the garage. No water stuff. So everything got a good time to cure. Um, number four, which was doing pretty good, but then fell off hard at the end, was Sonex Ceramic Spray Coating. I've been throwing this into a lot of my spray tests as a mystery competitor because it is a really good product. Uh, it has really good hydrophobics and um, it does a really good job filling with gloss and stuff too. It's up there with luster. It's really good. And it's $25 for 750 mils. So it's a bigger bottle than all these guys and it's cheaper than this. But today it did not outlast it because competitor five was this. Um, really good hydrophobics initially. Like, just these guys are very close, which I found surprising. Turtle wax typically doesn't get that hydrophobic, um, but they did here. So uh, good showing there, and it did have some legs on it. I think I have it pinned as coming in second. I'm sure I'll flash some text on the screen if I'm wrong. But um, yeah, overall, these guys all did better in chemical resistance than they did in gloss and fill, which is sort of... Turtle wax is beetle ticket these days. Um, yeah, what do I draw from this? I don't personally think this is that worth it. Again, I've got it in a long-term test running right now, and I'll put a little linky box up top for that. But um, yeah, either way, I found I would probably stick in this range, price-wise, if I'm buying turtle wax. I really am not a huge fan of this. I've tested it long-term. It didn't make it more than four months. This is just too expensive. I would buy this over that. And this just doesn't have any legs. So this is my sweet spot. If I'm gonna have turtle wax as a spray protection, I'd probably stick with seal and shine. Again, comment below, tell me I'm wrong. Defend yourselves, I'm all for it. Uh, that's just my personal preference. Uh, I don't have anything bad to say about this. It does good in other areas. It's just not worth $40 Canadian to me. And there's other things I could rather buy. Um, so yeah, but thank you again for watching. Uh, I'm gonna have probably one more Turtle Act graphing video coming up shortly-ish, a couple weeks, maybe three weeks or so. I am body at my about to. Um, so that'll be fun and a mystery. Wonder what that'll be. But yeah, anyway, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.